In this video, we will uh, understand about data block corruption. An Oracle DBA, normally, even if everything is running smoothly, he runs across the data block corruption or the database block corruption. There are two types of corruption. One is called the physical block corruption and the other is called the logical block corruption. So when does a physical block corruption happen? A physical block corruption happens when say the hard disk gets corrupt. The hard disk gets corrupt or say the oracle memory gets corrupt or any of these hard disk related devices gets corrupt. So then what happens is the blocks, the database blocks gets corrupted. And those would be the examples of physical block corruption. While let's understand what is a logical block corruption. A logical block corruption, in a logical block corruption, the block do not get corrupt. But internally, the oracle cannot understand the structure. So let me show you an example further. You see, in a physical block corruption, the database block is completely corrupt. So the Oracle database can't understand the data. While in a logical block corruption, the data block is in an oracle format but but the data is not in a proper format what happens during a data block corruption uh, might be uh, that error is encountered by the user who's uh, querying that particular table and uh, the moment he queries this table he receives the data block corruption error on his particular session the error could be like aura 00 00600 and it could be uh, this sort of message can appear on your sql session like that and your session might hang might be depending on the severity of corruption your database could hang and when your database hangs, it's your responsibility to see that the database is running smoothly. So now this particular error, which you see here, ORA 00600 and this number 3374, this indicates that the database corruption is related to the memory. 3398 indicates a different value. So each numbers after the ORA 00600, the ORA 00600 indicates database corruption. While uh, error number, th the other error number indicates the type of database corruption which you face. And now what would happen is since you will panic after you have this error, your database will not run smoothly or your database might hang. So you will try to restore your data from the backup, but your backup will still contain the older corrupt block. So even if you try recovering your data from the tape drive, and if you're not using RMAN, especially if you're not using RMAN, then your backup still contains the corrupt block in your data file. So that part of data you might lose unless and until you use RMAN. So RMAN is a very important tool to handle data block corruption. So the problem with data block corruption is your, you can lose your data, that part of data which is corrupt. Even if you have a proper backup like you might ha be having your database running in an archive mode but if your data has gone corrupt your backup is also having corrupt data so the solution to that is using tools like rman and being prepared to handle data block corruption so in the newer videos we will understand how to handle data block corruption how to identify data block corruptions